हेलो एवरी वन मैं सेल्फ डॉक्टर राहुल आई एम ए थर्ड ईयर जूनियर रेसिडेंट इन जे जे एम मेडिकल कॉलेज दावण गेरे आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग पेपर ऑन रोल ऑफ एम डी सी टी एज एन इनिशियल मॉडलिटी फॉर एवेल्यूशन ऑफ ब्लंट इंजुरी ऑफ डोमन कमिंग टू द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एज वी नॉट ट्रामा इज दी वन ऑफ द लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ द डेथ ओवरऑल फॉर ऑल दी एजेस रोड ट्राफिक क्रैश स्किल्स अराउंड वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन पीपल एनुअली अराउंड द वर्ल्ड Ninety percent of these deaths are in a low or middle-income countries, and uh, Indian fatality rates are about twenty times more than the other developed countries. And ten percent of these fatality rates are related to the abdominal injury. About thirty percent of such death, deaths are preventable with a proper diagnosis and proper treatment. Materials and methods. We included fifty patients with a blunt injury abdomen were evaluated in a period of twelve months. The various organs injuries were graded, and the scoring system applied for the hemoperitoneum. The patients were managed according to the CT findings. The techniques uh, used are like the scanner was G revolution X thirty two slice, the standard KVP like one twenty and MES one sixty five. The detector collimation was two mm. The slice thickness was kept around two point five to five mm. The IV contrast volume was around one point two two cc per kg. The concentration was around three hundred milligram per ml. The objective of this study is to study the role of computed tomography in the evaluation of intra-abdominal injury in a patient with a blunt injury abdomen, and accurate grading of those injuries, and to provide the information that could determine the appropriate choice of management. Inclusion criteria: all trauma cases with a suspected intra-abdominal injury. Uh, the most common findings in any abdominal trauma is hemoperitoneum and the organ uh, injury so hemoperitoneum is uh, estimated using the federal et al studies uh, model uh, so whenever there is a fluid in only one space it is taken as a small is estimated as small hemoperitoneum approximate amount will be 100 to 200 ml and any fluid in a two or more spaces it will be estimated as a moderate and uh, approximate amount will be 250 to 500 ml or fluid in a, all spaces or pelvic fluid or anterior superior to the urinary bladder it will be estimated as a large uh, hemoperitoneum more than 500 ml as you can see here there is a fluid around the perihepatic and perisplenic so more than two spaces it will be considered as a moderate and third fourth fifth uh, diagram uh, like uh, second th- diagram you can see there is a fluid in the pelvic cavity and scrotum in multiple spaces which will be considered as a uh, severe hemoperitoneum more than 500 ml and the grading system organ injury used a standard uh, grading system so whenever there is a uh, laceration less than 1 cm or subcapsular hematoma less than 1 cm it will be taken as a grade 1 A laceration one to three centimeter or subcapsular hematoma less than three centimeter will be taken as a grade two. The laceration more than three centimeter deep or central or subcapsular hematoma more than three centimeter is taken as a grade three. And laceration more than ten centimeter subcapsular hematoma more than ten centimeter. Lower maceration, devascularization, extending into the any hep- major hepatic vein taken as a grade four. Grade five will be taken as whenever there is a bilobar tissue maceration, parenchymal contrast blush, arterial contrast extravasion beyond capsule is taken as a grade five. So you can see there is a small hypodensity in the gray, uh, first image and it is will be taken as a grade one in, injury. and second image you can see there is hypodensity area more than 3 cm and perihepatic uh, fluid collection it will be taken as a grade 3 uh, liver injury and you can see here it is large hematoma more than 10 cm it will be taken as a grade 4 hepatic injury so coming to the splenic injury grading it is as same as a liver less than 1 will be taken as a 1 cm 1 grade 1 or 1 to 3 cm will be taken as a grade 2 Laceration more than three centimeter and subcapsular matter more than three it will be taken as a grade three. Parenchymal fragmentation into two or more section will be taken as a grade four. Interparenchymal contrast blush or extravasion beyond the capsule will be taken as a grade five. So you can see there is a first diagram. There is a small linear hypodensity will be taken as a grade one and second image you can see there is hypodensity more than three centimeter it will be taken as a spl- uh, grade three. Coming to the pancreatic injury, if there is a minor contusion, it will be taken as a grade one. If it's a major contusion, it will be taken as a grade two. 
if distal transection or parenchymal injury with a duct injury it will be taken as a grade 3 if there is a proximal transection or uh, to the right of the mesenteric vein or a parenchymal injury involving the ampulla it will be taken as a grade 4 if it is a massive disruption of pancreatic head it will be taken as a grade 5 and here you can see there is a hypodensity area in the bo body and the head of the pancreas it will be considered as a grade 5 pancreatic injury Coming to the renal injury, the contusion, small contusion and non-expanding subcapsular hematoma without any laceration is taken as a grade 1 or non-expanding minimal perirenal hematoma or cortical laceration less than 1 cm without any urinary extravasation will take as a grade 2. The laceration more than 1 cm without any urinary extravasation but the larger perineophoric hematoma it will take as a grade 3. Laceration through the corticomedullary junction and into collecting system or segmental renal artery or vein contained hemorrhage, it will be taken as a grade 4 or shattered kidney avulsion of renal pedicle is taken as a grade 5. And you can see here a small hypodensate area without any perineophic hematoma, it will be taken as a grade 1. And here you can see there is a uh, hypodensate area transferring through the corticomedullary uh, junction uh, so it will be taken as a grade 3 renal injury with a large perinephric hematoma also seen here and, and here you can see there is a large uh, uh, hematoma which is around the perinephric and there is a transection of the whole corticomedullary section so it will be taken as a grade 4 and whenever there is a contrast uh, extravasion outside the bladder it will be taken as a bladder considered as a bladder rupture so in uh, coming to the observation and results so we had a uh, 50 cases in 50 cases around 42 cases were positive 8 cases were negative so whenever there is a hemoperitoneum and organ injury it is considered as a positive no organ injury no hemoperitoneum considered as a negative so around positive cases uh, 42 hemoperitoneum was seen in, uh, in around 32 only isolated hemoperitoneum seen in 12 cases associated to the other organ injury uh, hemoperitoneum seen in 20 cases and the solid organ injury was seen in 30 cases solitarious organ injury seen in 22 cases multiple organ injury seen in around 8 cases the quantification of hemoperitoneum as a small moderate and large there are around 16 cases were uh, seen uh, seen small hemoperitoneum around 90 percent of them have conserved managed uh, managed managed conservatively and moderate and large uh, they can uh, managed uh, around uh, uh, 60 to 70 percent of cases are managed uh, conservatively and around uh, 10 to 20 percent of cases are managed operatively the distribution of visceral organs the spleen is the most common organ followed by liver the least organ injury is seen in the pancreas and uh, this is the grading system of the individual organs uh, coming to the most common uh, grading was seen in around grade 1 or uh, it's seen in around 8 cases uh, grade 2 injuries in around 5 cases the least grading was seen in around grade 4 cases and uh, grade 1 2 3 cases are almost all managed conservatively grade 4 and 5 managed uh, operatively in our among total 30 cases around 80 percent of cases are managed conservatively around 20 percentage of cases managed operatively so overall management we had a negative cases eight negative cases they have managed conservatively hemoperitoneum seen in around 12 cases isolated hemoperitoneum seen around 12 cases among them nine managed conservatively three managed operatively and solid organs are seen in uh, solid organ injury seen in around 30 cases 23 cases were managed or managed conservatively seven cases managed uh, operatively so total 40 cases of 80 percentage of managed conservatively around 10 cases uh, managed operatively to the 20 percent of the whole cases so conclusion is the multi detector seat is a very sensitive and specific method for the assessment of various organ injury and hemoperitoneum in patients with blunt abdominal trauma Contrast and CT and particularly multi CT is a fast, accurate and relatively safe and can be done in a patient who are hemodynamically unstable. The most useful information is obtained during a portal phase of the scanning. Accurate grading of solid organ injury and scoring of hemoperitoneum helps in planning and appropriate line of management that is either operative or non-operative or conservative management. These are my references. Thank you.